MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the Cleveland Indians and the New York Yankees. Joe Morgan, the American League's batting leader, steps into the box coming up next. Garrett Cole will be the starter in this one for the Yankees. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, Matty V, this ought to be a lot of fun. This guy won the Cy Young Award last year in the AL, so he knows how to pitch. And one of the things he does effectively, he attacks the strike zone. And if he does that, he should be fun to watch in this one. Now at the plate, Jose Ramirez. And we are set for baseball here this evening. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Hey I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. I might have been sitting on an off speed pitch but instead he gets the fastball way late had no chance to put that ball in play. Swing and a miss looked like the knuckle curve there and that's out number two. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Carlos Carrasco gets the ball for the Indians in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, this guy is one of the better pitchers in the league, and one stat that jumps out, take a look at that strikeout-to-walk ratio. That's about as good as it gets. And look for him to dominate in this one. Hit in the air out to center field. Nick Wooden's under it. He's got it one away. That is perfect. Stepping in, Albert Pujols. Previous battles with Carlos Carrasco. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. He's taken him deep once. Now the one and one pitch. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Heiner is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Batting third. Digging in, Mickey Mantle. And as we give you a look at his splits, he's had the better of right-handers this season, no doubt about that. This is in the air to left field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll coast into second here with a two-out double. It's always nice to get cool. something cooking in the first That's inning, cool even with two outs. Yeah. Now your cleanup man steps to the plate and has a chance yeah. to drive in the first run of the game. Stepping into the box, Cal Ripken. What a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. 
Adi jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Goal! That's how the manager drew it up right there. Hold the visiting team scoreless and then grab a huge home run in the first. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Here's a fly ball well hit. Right fielder is on the run. He's there to track it down. And That'll end the inning. Yankees get a couple on the two-run home run. We'll head to the top of the second. It's now 2 nothing, New York. Second inning set to go, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Boy, that's the best pitch in baseball right there with two strikes. That elevated fastball, every hitter thinks that, hey, they can do something with that. But most of the time, you get the result that you saw right there. A big swing and a miss and another strikeout. Into the box, Yadier Molina. A one and two count to the Indians catcher. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old police sack and climb the ladder. And he fouls this one off. Now another one two. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Wow, his stuff looks electric coming out of the gates in this one, guys. That's five batters faced, four strikeouts. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Stepping in now, Domingo Santana. Not close with that one. It's way above the strike zone. And as the Yankees get started here tonight, guys, they've had it go in the last 10 games. They're 7-3 and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team finds itself with a huge lead, double digits right now, and climbing, playing really good baseball. Some people will say, oh, you don't want to have that big a lead. You start resting on your laurels. I, I, I look at it the other way, man. You've earned the right to kind of... And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end in order go the tribe they're down two to nothing here's big Aaron Judge he's of course a long ball threat currently third in the American League in that category and not surprisingly he's also near the top of the league in slugging percentage which means not every ball's leaving the yard a lot of extra base hits in this guy's arsenal make one Esteron straight back but he has it for the first out that is better. Time for a look at the Cleveland Indians defensive setup today. And can we please focus on Francisco Lindor, one of my favorite players in the game? Let's check a few boxes. Charisma, check. Switch hitter, check. Cannon for an arm, check. Hit for power, check. Enough said. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. And that one is gone! Every once in a while, the speed guy will jump up and bite one. He absolutely crushed that baseball. Doesn't fit his usual tool description, but he can go deep if you leave one over the heart of the plate. In now, Gio Urshela drives it out to deep right center field. Naquin's on the move, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. He got the pitch he wanted, and he didn't miss it right there. Hammer job. At the plate, Gary Sanchez. 
The bunt attempt is popped up, and he makes the catch two away now. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the end. Next will be the versatile Tyler Naquin as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Now playing center field, number 13, Omar Vitell. And he fires a fastball now for a called strike two. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. Trammell comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Mercado. Striding in for the Indians, Oscar Mercado. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. A swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in one of the best on base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. To two and two now. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Trammell is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Indians go down one, two, three. Welcome back as the Yankees prepare for their third turn through the order. Fans of the Bronx Bombers have been treated to quite a bit of production from this lineup so far this year. In fact, with the highest team batting average, on-base percentage, and slugging percentage in all of Major League Baseball, it's probably safe to say they have the absolute best offense in the sport these days. As one player told me earlier, yeah, I mean, you don't have to dig too deep into the stats to understand the level we're playing at. We have a special group. We know it. And we still think we can get better. Safe to say no one else around the league hopes they can, guys. Thank you, Heidi. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. Fly ball out toward left center field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. So he picks up another hit. First of the game, but as we've mentioned, it's just one of many so far this season for him. Yeah, Matty, I know he's fighting for a batting title right now, but the consistency this guy has shown from start to finish this season has been awesome for this team. Talking to the manager before the game, he's the one guy when he walks in the clubhouse door, you know exactly what you're getting from him. Getting a few steps off a second there, now the pitch. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. The relay. Throw to second, and he's out. But one run is in to score on the play. Batting third. The center fielder. Oh, ball. Hit down. To the plate now, Omar Vizquel. That's lifted the other way out to left. Kiner's there. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. The batter number eight. Ready to take his hacks again. Cal Ripken as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. And that last at that when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here. To in now for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Lifted down the line in left. 
And this will wind up a foul ball. Fouled away. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Another strikeout for him on the mound. And boy, is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt, Manny. He's one of my favorites, mostly because of his stuff. You know, he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. He throws him on the breaking ball that time. Cesar Hernandez sent packing for the second out of the inning. In the air to straightaway right. Judges under it. And that retires the side. Down in order go the tribe. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Labor Torres. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Oh, hang on now. This ball is smoked to right, and I don't think this one's coming back. No chance. It's gone. Boy, this guy just keeps going on. His 40th home run of the season, and he's not done yet. He keeps this up. He's definitely going to be in the conversation for some of the year-end awards. Standing in now, Taylor Trammell. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Heiner is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. Now better. At the plate, Gio Urshela. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Yeah, it's been an offensive. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. And it's gone as they add still another. The long ball is playing in this one. That was the fourth blast of the game so far for this lineup. Dan Dero, what are your thoughts on what they're doing as a team so far? Dero, I don't know what you think, but this is one of those cases where I think the hitters right now, they must be seeing beach balls up there right now. There's four bombs already in this one. Yeah, this lineup from top to bottom has power just oozing out of it. And this guy's missing over the heart of the plate. That's what happens. And he's bunting here with two strikes, but he misses. And that's a rather weak out number two. Now back. Second base. So it's back to the top of the order yeah. now. And Joe Morgan oh, strides yeah. up to the plate. Now the one and one pitch. Line drive to center field. And he dives to make a spectacular catch. What a Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I talked with manager Terry Francona during the break about his thoughts on the Indians hitters to this point. And he told me overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They have single guy on base yet so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here but he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today the key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound now that may be a tall task but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them all right thanks Heidi lifted the other way down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. Well, you can tell by their approach that they're going to go up there and try to be aggressive off this guy, but he's taking full advantage of that. He's pounding the zone with strikes, and right now we're seeing a lot of swings and misses and a lot of strikeouts and no walks either. The count now at two and one. Now the pitch. 
hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Popped him up. And this is taken in for the second out. Now back. Next for the Indians is the designated hitter Domingo Santana. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. No. Fastball close but he didn't get it 2 and 1. This is line to left and there's the first hit of the game for Cleveland. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. I'll tell you, he had to be sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot, and he still manages to get out front of that. And now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And goodbye. This one ain't coming back. I know height sights 20-20, but you can't throw that pitch to that guy. Don't forget. He homered yesterday, so you know he's locked in and ready to roll up there. We'll see if he learns from that mistake. Into the box now, Oscar Mercado. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Two runs on two hits. No errors to this point for the Indians. Strike two taken, a fastball that clips the inside black. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. Fouled off. Ready with another 2-2. Two -two. Three balls. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he's got himself another one as he picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. Indians get a couple of runs here on. Welcome back to the Bronx as we check in with Heidi. Thanks, Matt. I talked with the Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Top to bottom, he said his guys have been picking on the right pitches to swing at, and they've done a nice job of using the whole field. He said that always seems to be a recipe for success, and their seven extra base hits in this one are evidence that it has been. Thank you, Heidi. Into center field, line drive base hit. So with a man aboard now, the RBI men will have an opportunity with nobody out in the inning. There's another okay. line drive leadoff single right now. I mean, they have an they've had an unbelievable scouting report on these pitchers today. They are finding barrels. They are not trying to do too much. Guys are staying in a big part of the field and hitting everything on the screws. Into the box, Omar Vizquel skied into straightaway right. And this will be hauled in shy of the track for out number one as the runner will retreat to first. Now that is stop. Coming to the plate yeah. now, Cal Ripken. One for two in the ball game thus far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Nick Wooden's under it. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So we're under at first here with two gone in the inning, and that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. The 1-1 home. Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And it's gone! Two-run shot to straightaway center, giving him an even 150, as this is now a seven-run ball game. Jordan Stevens gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least